Hi everyone, this is Chloe from Wondershare Femora here to empower your inner video creator. I bet the short sequence you just saw looks a little bit familiar to you, doesn't it? If you thought it looks like the Wong Kar Wai style, you are absolutely right. Wong Kar Wai is a film director, screenwriter, and producer from Hong Kong. His films are characterized by non-linear narratives, atmospheric music, and vivid cinematography involving bold, saturated colors. Today, I'm going to show you how to film and create this super fun slow shutter effect in Femora Top. It's gonna be fun, let's go! First, let's take a look at the locations in Wang Kawei's films. The scenes are mostly set at night in a chaotic landscape of Hong Kong, with its bustling streets, neon-lit alleys, and crowded footstalls. Wang Kawei used the slow shutter effect to capture the dynamic energy of the city, blurring the lights and movement into a mesmerizing swirl of color and motion. We are going to challenge ourselves to film during the daytime. We found this outdoor location near our office. It's not that busy today, but we can still see people passing by from time to time. Before we start, let's make sure that we have an ND filter on the camera. It is to reduce the intensity of all wavelengths or colors of light equally from entering the camera. Let's change the shutter speed to around 1 5th and compensate the aperture to around 5 here. Then, I'll let the camera follow me along while I'm walking around here. We will try to keep me in the center while filming. With even the minimum amount of shake, the objects and subjects will be blurred. But that's what we want, right? Then, it's time to switch to a different perspective. I will walk around with the camera, filming the environment in first person's point of view. And when we have all the footage we need, it's time to bring them into Filmora 12. If you haven't already downloaded Filmora 12, get started by going to filmora.wannashare.com or click the link in the description. First of all, let's import the footage into the media folder. I'm going to quickly assemble the footage onto the timeline. When the timeline is ready, I'm going to start coloring the footage. Let's start from the daytime footage here. Double click on the footage and go to the top left panel. Click on color here. Then find the color wheel section. To make it easier, I'm going to activate the histogram from the top right corner of the viewer panel. A histogram is a graph of the luminance value against pixel counts. The left edge of the histogram represents a luminance value of zero, which is black. And the right edge represents white. In between the edges, the left part represents the shadow of the image, the middle part represents the midtone, and the right part represents the highlight. Every pixel in the image could find its place on the histogram. There are also other color scopes available by going to Effects, New Blue FX, and then Essentials. You can select the scope you'd like to use from here. In this example, we will use the original histogram. I'm going to adjust the highlight wheel to make sure there's no clipping on the side with 100% brightness. Then, make sure the darkest area of the image won't fall on the left of the 0% brightness line. Next, I'm going to adjust the mid-tone wheel. If you want it to be brighter, you can drag the bar up. And if you want it to be a bit darker, you can drag the bar down a little bit. Make sure the brightest and darkest area won't exceed the histogram area either on the left or right. With the color correction roughly done, it's time to move on to color grading. Looking at the Chunking Express and other films by Wang Ka Wei, it gives me a feeling that we want to go for a higher contrast and more saturated look. It would be great if we can add a warm tone or a cold tone to it. I want to make the clip darker, so I'm going to drag the bars of the highlight mid-toe, and shadow down a little. Then, go to the basic window and find contrast in the light section. Increase the contrast to an ideal level. Reduce the shadow, white, and black level until I'm happy with it. Now, let's add a cold tone to the clip. Go to the color section and find temperature. Drag it to the left side to apply a blue tone to the image. I will also increase the saturation here. Hmm, it looks pretty good, but we're not done yet. Go to the color wheels again and find the mid-tone color wheel. Drag the picker within the circle closer to the green color. It will apply a green tone to the clip. I think this specific green looks good to me, so let's go with it. With all the footage color graded, a Wong Kawei style video is completed. 
Now that you know how to create visuals like Huang Kawei, what stories do you want to tell? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for new videos on the channel. Keep creating and see you next time.